Well, there is a brand new stadium starting to take shape just across the way, but for now, the action is here at Highmark Stadium in Buffalo, New York. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Buffalo Bills. And this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now the new pickup from New England. This is Damian Harris. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stuff the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players, it gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. The speedster Dante Pettis back deep to return. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They run with a former Panther. It's Deontay Foreman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Fields now to throw. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and five. Here's Fields. Oh, he stays up. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. Now this is picked up by the Bills, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Allen now looks to throw. Setting up the screen, Harris. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. We're scoreless after one. 
Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. To throw, it's Allen. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. On first down, Fields. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. A man who led the league in yards per carry last year, it's Khalil Herbert. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. From the 47, it's second and five. Fields. Gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now Fields. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Deontay Hardy back deep. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And, partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. First down now, but that clock rolling. Let's go, let's go. To the air, Allen. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Allen. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off. Still going inside the 20. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0.
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. 10 yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock, give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this down to the 35-yard line. down and they're going to throw with Allen and a dangerous throw there incomplete he threw that into coverage it was nearly intercepted but nearly another interception there that would have been two drives in a row with a pick he's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying interestingly that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive but fell incomplete again they'll throw with Allen He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll find Gabriel Davis. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Set to resume, here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. On second down, a run with Herbert. Room here to run! And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Herbert making a nice play there, coming off a 700-yard campaign, despite making just one start in 2022. Played a big part in the Bears becoming the fifth team in NFL history to rush for 3,000 yards in a season. On first and 10, here's Fields. 
And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up second down. The option right is Fields. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Foreman will try to pick it up. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. On first and 10, it's Herbert. Taken down at the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and seven. They'll go again with Herbert. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 18. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. Now that's a quarterback who's in charge out there right now. Wants to throw the ball on third down. Doesn't find anyone open. Tucks it away. Takes off and picks up the first down. Not by a little, but by plenty. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Herbert powering up the middle. And the tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Bears have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they faked the run, pull it out, throw it. And as a defense, I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got fooled on that one.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes. You're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Now here's a throw that's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Let's go, let's go. Allen looks to throw on second down, setting up the screen for Cook. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And he's got it inside the 10. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Well, that's something you haven't had to talk about much this game. A nice big play right there. But this team, overall, they haven't done a whole lot offensively. Well, they're still sitting on the goose egg. We talk about defenses having pride in a shutout. This offense wants to get rid of that zero. Now Allen. That's caught by Davis. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Well, the Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. And another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here we go, 
They'll run with Herbert. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner's a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And yeah, that's complete to Davis. Just more of the same here. That's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. The pass caught by Hardy. Still going. And he's going to get this down inside the five before he's out of bounds. Oh, man, that could wind up being the key play of the ball game right there. Defensively here, you know they've got no timeouts. You've got to keep them away from the sidelines. Here, not only do they get the big yardage, but they get out of bounds as well. Throwing Allen. That's caught by Diggs. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Here's first and 10. Now Herbert to start the drive. Oh, but a great tackle there. Going to hold him to no gain as the clock runs. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get him for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Good footwork at the 30. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. All set up for him right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They give that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They've got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. First throw of overtime for Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Here comes a big one now in overtime. This is third and inches. Allen off the play fake. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Allen. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. So the game winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, Parker? That we were. And I just love being able to be witness to a game like this all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. To throw his fields. Able to find Komet. Back-to-back -back completions, and that puts them in enemy territory. And we're always looking for that elusive term momentum, aren't we? And I think they're building it with the back-to-back -back completions. Now they feel like they can either take a shot or continue to build it the way that they're doing now. Safe throws, get it to their playmakers, and see what happens. Now it's Fields. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. 
But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Fields. Fields hit and the ball is loose. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come-from-behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.